Good afternoon. <laughs> I'm Julie. Yeah. And I know you did an interview with Bob last time. I'm what? You did an interview with Bob last time. Oh, okay. So, last time you guys talked a lot about before the war. And so, I wanted to ask you, what age were you when they started interning people? Interned? Mm-hmm. 19. You were 19? I was <clears throat> born in 22. Mm-hmm. So we went in 42, right? Mm-hmm. So I was about 19. 19. So did you attend college before that? JC. JC? So you were in JC when you were interned? Yeah, I was. <clears throat> I graduated, I graduated high school in 41. Mm -hmm. I went to JC in 41. Then the war broke out. Oh. Then I was interned in 42. And where were you interned? Heart Mountain. Heart Mountain? Wyoming. And how was that like? It was all right. It was all right? Yeah. Well, let's look at it this way, Julie. <laughs> yeah. I've been an athlete all my year, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been reading a lot of okay, articles. Okay, so when I went to camp, mm -hmm. It was just like going to spring training. Really? To me. Uh huh. I wasn't bitter or anything because I'd be able, to, I'd still be able to play my sports. Really? So, were there teams at Heart Mountain? Huh? Were there teams? Yeah, we had teams. Mm hmm. Were they just all Japanese Americans? Yeah. And did you guys play against each other or? Each, each other. Against each other. Later on. We got to go outside and play against the Hakuden team. Oh, really? Where did you go to play with them? Softball. You played softball? Yeah. Did you play anything else? Yeah, I played them all. You played them all? Yeah, well, I was pretty good in all of them. I heard you played basketball and football. Yeah. Those were all there at the camp? Yeah. How did you guys form teams? We had a club. You had a club? Yeah, called the Valley Sportsman. Valley Sportsman. So that was <clears throat> that was formed before the war. Oh, that was formed before the war. Yeah. Good. So when you were in camp, were all the members in yeah, camp we with were, you? Yeah. Oh. We so, were called the Valley Sportsmen. Mm. And so, your what did you play against the the hockey jeans outside? Well, <clears throat> I never got to play against Hakodin because I wasn't inducted in the army. Oh, you were in the army as yeah. well? Oh. So I was drafted in 42. Oh. 44. Oh, 44? So you served in the army? Yeah. Then I went to MIS. What's MIS? Military Intelligence Service. Oh, what did you do there? You tried to become an interpreter. For Japanese? So were you trying to see if Japanese Americans were spies? Well, I don't know. I knew just a little bit of Japanese. That's why uh -huh. I went to MIS. Oh. And did you work with a lot of Japanese Americans? No. You worked with all... Well, we were all Japanese Americans in, Min in Minnesota. Oh, uh-huh. For Snelling. Uh-huh. So, you were in Minnesota when you were in the Army? And then, so, MI, MIS? Is that what it's called? MIS. MIS. So, was there a lot of training? A lot of what? Training? No, you just have to learn how to more Japanese. So, what did you translate? No, I didn't do any translate. <laughs> so, at the MIS, you would just be what were what were you what were your duties at MIS? Okay, when I went to Japan, I went I went along with this lieutenant mm -hmm. to make see that the, the people that were voting mm -hmm. were in the you know were you want to say uh, influenced by outside people to, about what to vote for. Oh, what were they voting on? I don't know. I don't remember that. Oh. So, you went to Japan with your lieutenant? 
Well, with a what? Was your lieutenant? No, I went to the Philippines first. Oh, so you went to the Phil from from Minnesota. You went to the Philippines. Yeah. And what did you do in the Philippines? Well, that we bivouac before we got to go to Japan. Oh. So we were there in October, November, and then December they shipped it all to Japan. Oh. Okay. And what? And in Japan, you had to make sure that people were voting. Well, uh, that was the only one that, that I remember of. Oh. Because. I was playing softball, mm -hmm. so we beat everybody in Japan. So they sent me back to Manila in the Oli Army Olympics. What? And then we lost, so they came back to Japan. Then I got a furlough, so I went to see my parents where my parents grew up. So that was about two in, or three, uh, two or three months. In Japan? Yeah. Oh, and where did your parents grow up in Japan? Where did your parents grow up in Japan? They they live my not my parents, my grandparents. Oh, uh -huh. and where where were they at in Japan? The, in Okayama. Oh, okay. So I spent two weeks with them. I got a furlough. Oh, tell me tell me more about the Army Olympics. Army Olympics? Yeah, I didn't know there was an Army Olympics. Oh yeah, I played softball, right? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So we beat everybody in Japan uh -huh. in the army. So they sent me back or the team. We went back to Manila. Uh -huh. and they had the Army Olympics. Oh, how many teams were in the Army Olympics? Oh, I really don't remember. All I know, is <laughs> when we went back to Manila, we got beat. So uh -huh. I remember that. Was it a tough game? Yeah, the, the other pitcher was better. You think so? Yeah. Was he, what, what ethnicity was he? Was he Japanese? No. He was white? Hmm. So were, did you play against an all-white team? Yeah, more or less. Because mm -hmm. we were mixed too. Oh, you were mixed too? Yeah. And in Minnesota, did you play with the army as well? No, I didn't play in Minnesota. Oh, so Minnesota was more training. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this was all in 44? 44. Mm -hmm. So after you went to Japan, where did you go? Where did you go after? After Japan? Mm -hmm. I got discharged. You got discharged? Yeah. So did you go back to Heart Mountain? No, I went back to Monrovia. Monrovia? And how did you find your family? They were already back. They were already back here? Yeah, they were already back to, to the town of Monrovia. Oh. So I had a place to go to when I got discharged. Well, when, when did they get discharged? Oh, they must have left camp in 45, early 45. Early 45? Yeah, and then I was discharged in 45. Oh. So, did you keep in contact with them? when My they were, folks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How did you keep in contact with, with them? With mail. Through mail? So, did they tell you stories about Heart Mountain? No. They didn't, they didn't tell you anything about it? No, because I was in Heart Mountain. But you left Heart Mountain? Yeah. To go to the Army? Yeah. And when you wrote letters, what did you write about? I, I couldn't tell you what I wrote about. <laughs> Were, were you worried about them? No, because they were in good hands. They were in good hands? Yeah. Mm -hmm. they, had a, they had a house to go back to. So they had, who took care of their house when they were in Heart Mountain? Huh? Who took care of their house when they, they were in? The power of attorney to the neighbor. Oh, to the neighbor? The neighbor took care of it. Oh. Oh, so your neighbors were really nice to you? Yeah. Okay, so after you came back, you you came back in 45, and you met up with your parents. With who? With your parents? Yeah. And by this time, were you married yet? No. And are you married? I got married in uh, 49. 49. So. 
when you first came back, was it hard for your parents to work, find work? Well, I don't think so. My dad ended up being a gardener. Oh. And they had a house to come home to. Uh huh. So you guys were doing okay? Yeah. And did you help out with gardening? With what? Gardening? No. What did you do when you came back? I, I tried to go back to school. Oh, you did? But it didn't work out. Oh, well, how come? I just couldn't hack it. <laughs> you couldn't hack it? You couldn't do the academics? And it do. The academics? The homework? Well, I, I just couldn't study anymore. <laughs> were, were other things on your mind? No, not really. Were you focused on sports? Well, I tried to play football again, but wasn't there. Oh, really? Why do you think that? Well, uh, I used to get knocked out every time I played. <laughs> so uh, I just quit school after that. Oh. And when was that? That would be in somewhere in the middle of 45. I'm 49. 45, 46. 45, 46. I so, tried going back to school, but couldn't hack it. Mm -hmm. And what about softball? Did you continue playing softball? Yeah, I, I played softball from, from the early 40s for another 20 years. For another 20 years? Yeah. Oh, wow. So you stopped football, but you continued with softball? Softball, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I picked up baseball. Oh, in 46? Let's look, look at it this way, Julie. I, okay. went to, I went to high school, right? Uh -huh. So I was good in football, uh -huh. basketball, uh -huh. and track. Uh -huh. I never did get to play baseball. Oh. Because I used to end up going to the finals in the track, uh -huh. so that interfered with baseball. Mm -hmm. So I never got into baseball mm -hmm. until later in my life. Mm -hmm. So that would have to be after we came out of camp mm -hmm. or I came out of the Army. Uh -huh. Then I played semi-pro oh. with a giant, with a so-called Japanese team called Little Tokyo Giants. Oh. So I played with them. Oh. So that was my only experience with baseball mm -hmm. was after school. Because mm -hmm. I was I was participating in track mm -hmm. and then track would interfere with mm -hmm. baseball. Mm -hmm. So I never did get to get mm -hmm. a baseball uniform in high school. Oh. So in college in college you were a part of base, baseball? No, not in college. So in college, were you in any sports? Yeah, football, basketball, and track. Oh. But I never did get to play baseball. Until and after. Con until afterward. Oh. And do you have a favorite? Any what? A favorite? In baseball? Do you have a favorite sport? Well, I guess I was best known for baseball. being a softball. Softball? Softball pitcher. Oh. And... What exactly is the difference between softball and baseball? Two different, two different sizes of ball. Oh, the balls are different? Yeah, 13 inch, 12 inch, and then the small baseball. Oh, so softballs have a bigger ball. Yeah. And baseballs are like smaller. Right. Oh, that's, that's really interesting. So, you played in Little Little Tokyo, semi-pro. Yeah. With Little Tokyo Giants. Yeah. So, do you have a favorite memory with them? No, not. We used to travel. Where did you go? go up to San Jose. San Jose. Were you playing more? We play, playing against teams in San Jose. Why San Jose? Well, they have a. Well, San Jose was had a Japanese community, oh. and they had a Japanese, all Japanese team. Oh. So they had a tournament every year. Mm -hmm. So we used to go to San Jose every year. Uh -huh. So when you played with the little Tokyo Giants, 
did you play it against white people as well? You know, in the, in the Muni League in L.A. Oh. But mostly against the other Nisei teams. Oh. So in San Francisco, no, in San Jose. San Jose? No, if they, if they, if they had a tournament uh -huh. in San Jose, mm -hmm. it was usually all Nisei. Oh, I see. Did you like playing against Japanese Americans yeah. or white Americans? It didn't make any difference as long as I got to play. <laughs> and I've been reading a lot about you and a lot of what you've done with baseball. And it seems like you were really, really good. About baseball? Baseball, softball, oh, basketball. Softball. Yeah. I've read a lot My, of articles. I, I was, let's look at it this way, Julie. Uh -huh. I was good in softball mm -hmm. and football mm -hmm. and basketball a little bit, but track I was pretty good too. Mm -hmm. So in track in some events, I was never beaten. Oh, really? What were your undefeated events? Well, the pole wall, broad jump, Mm. And shot put. Shot put? The one where you go like this? <laughs> and do you still do th those things now? No, can't <laughs> do it. When did you When did you stop playing sports? When did I stop? Mm -hmm. It would have to be in the early 70s. Early 70s? Yeah. When I went to work for a Ford dealer, they used to get into a league. Industrial League. Oh. I think that's the last time I ever played softball. How come? Well, getting too old. <laughs> How old were you at that time? Yeah, I was, I was when? I probably played up till the late 50s. Oh, really? That's all I can remember. And those are your favorite memories? No. Nope. Can you tell me a favorite memory? What, a softball? Yeah. You know, the few no-hitters I pitched. And can you tell, when, when did you do no-hitters? What huh? game was it? Do you remember the game? No. No? I'd have to read about one. <laughs> I read about some of them. Yeah. It says, Fireballer Asano hurls no-hit, yeah. no-run contest. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> so was that like the highlight of your life? Yeah. Softball. Softball? So Softball and football. Then later in life, it was hardball. I finally got to play hardball. What's hardball? Yeah, baseball. Oh, they're, they're the same? They're the same? Yeah, baseball and hardball are the same. Oh. <laughs> See, in high school, Julie, uh -huh. I participated in football, uh -huh. basketball, and track. Uh -huh. I never got to play baseball mm -hmm. because I ended up going to the finals for the track. Mm -hmm. So they interfered with baseball. Mm -hmm. So I never did play baseball until after I got mm -hmm. out of school. Uh -huh. And then the only time would be in camp. Uh, uh And then when I got out of the army, uh -huh. then I played with a semi-pro team. Mm -hmm. Which team was your favorite? In which way? Like, did you like playing in camp with those people, or did you like playing with? No, the semi-pro. Semi-pro. Yeah, out of, out of camp. Oh, uh, and did you become very close to the members? Very close to what? To the members? To the players? Yeah. Did you have a best friend? Yeah. Who was that? Lots of friends. Who was your best friend? At that time? Mm-hmm. Sam Adachi, Min Kasai, <laughs> and Yosto Kido, Ted Yoshua, the whole team. The whole team? How much... How much time did you spend with them? Just just in the evening when we had a had a game. Oh, so through that you guys became like very close friends. Yeah. And how often did you guys practice? We didn't practice at all. At all? 
That must mean you're naturally gifted. You well, know, we didn't pra <laughs> we didn't practice at all. Nope. So, what were you doing during the day? Working in my job, whatever I was doing at that time. Oh, so 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 tell me when when you first got out of the army, you went back to your parents' house. Yeah. And your father was a gardener, and then. What kind of job did you have at that time? I, did, I didn't have a job. So you just continued playing with the Giants? No, when, when I got out of the Army, Julie, mm -hmm. I tried to go back to school, but I couldn't hack it. Yeah. So I ended up going into a market. A market? Yeah. You had your own? Just going the produce section. Uh huh. So I did that for three or four years and gave it up. Oh. And so, then I went to work at a gas station, and then from there I ended up going to a, a Ford dealership. Oh, okay, hold on. So first you went to a market? Yeah. Where was the market at? In Dwarty. Dwarty. And how did you get a job there? The owner w w worked the groceries. Uh -huh. No, somebody else had the meat section. Uh -huh. We had the produce section. Oh, did you work with your father in the produce? No, my mother. Oh, so you and your mother worked in the produce section yeah, of the my market. My father was a gardener. Uh huh. And why did you stop working there? Let's see. In the mid when I was working, I got married. Oh. Uh mm huh. -hmm. So I ended up working for a pool company. A pool company? Swimming pool. Uh-huh. And then from there I went to uh, work in a gas station in L.A. And then from there I went to Midway Ford and worked there for years and retired from Midway Ford in just before I turned, just after 65. After sixty five. Mm -hmm. okay, okay, I have so many questions for you. So, when you worked at the market, you got married. Yeah, nineteen forty nine. How did you meet your wife? In camp. Oh, you met her in camp. Yeah. So you guys were already dating. Yeah. Oh, mm, so where was she? Did she come back to your parents' house? She went house? to Colorado. Oh. She left camp and they went to Colorado. I was in a service. Uh-huh. So in 1945, I believe they came back to L.A. Uh-huh. And that's about the same time I got discharged. Uh-huh. So how did you meet her again? I met her in camp. But, but after camp, she went to Colorado. Yeah. And then how did you find her again? Well, we used to correspond. Oh, through mail? Yeah. So how did you ask her to be your wife? Back in 40, 49. So you, 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 you wrote a letter and asked her to be your wife? Yeah. Yeah? Sure. That's how you asked her to be your wife? Yeah, in 1949. I used to go around with her in camp. Uh-huh. Then I went into the service. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then I went into the service in 44, and they were in Colorado. Mm -hmm. And I got out in 46, mm -hmm. and I believe they came back to L.A. Oh, so they came back to L.A.? Yeah, they did, uh -huh. from Colorado. Uh -huh. And that's where I picked up going out with her again. And where, where did you guys usually go? Just around L.A. To, to go on dates? Yeah. Where, where in L.A.? Well, they used to have oh, some clubs would put on a dance. We'd go to a dance. Oh, so you like dancing? No. Nope. <laughs> didn't care for it. <laughs> but your wife liked dancing. Well, I guess just to go along. <laughs> and what was your wife's name? Terry. Terry? And her last name? Yanagimoto. Yanagimoto. So you guys went out to the club and danced a couple times. 
And then when did you asked her to marry her at 40, 48? 49. 49. And then you guys got married and did you get your own house? My parents had a house. Uh huh. So she so, moved in with you? Yeah. Oh, I see. So you guys moved in together and then you started working at a pool company. Pool company? Mm hmm. Yeah, when, when we got married, uh -huh. I had to market. Mm -hmm. But then after three or four years, you quit. Yeah. And why did you quit? Quit? Yeah, why did you quit the market? Not enough money. Oh, they, they weren't paying you enough? No, I, well, I was on my own. Oh. But the, the owner had a grocery section. Another guy had the meat section, we had the produce section. Mm -hmm. So you and your mom worked at the produce section? Yeah. But it wasn't enough money? Not enough money, so I went to work for a pool company. And did they pay you better? And a pool, pool company. Mm -hmm. Did they pay you better? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then from there, I went to work in a service station with a friend of mine. Uh, how come How come you switched from pool to service station? I'd, 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 I'd <laughs> take any kind of job. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And were these all owned by white people? Yeah. Oh, uh, and did not, they? Not all of them. Oh. Uh, the, the pool company is white people. Uh-huh. The service station was a Nihon Jing Nisei. Uh-huh. From then on, I was all working with nieces. Mm -hmm. were, were they mean to you or nice to you? Huh? How, how did they treat you? They're all good. All good? Yeah. Even the white person? Yeah. Was there any discrimination? No. No? Okay. And so your final job was at Midway Ford? Yeah. And what did you do for him? I was, or uh, them? I used to order parts. Order parts for cars? So did you do any of the mechanics stuff? No. Oh, so you just ordered parts. And at what year was that? What year were you working at Midway? <laughs> do you remember? <laughs> See, when I was 65, mm -hmm. must have been in the early 80s. Early 80s? And how, how old were you when you started working there? I must have been in my 50s. In your 50s? Yeah. Because I retired when I was 65, so take it from there. <laughs> oh. So, sounds like you've had a lot of jobs. Yep. And you must have liked Ford for, to stay there for that long. Uh huh? You must have liked Ford well, because you stayed there for so long. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. It. The friend of mine hired me. Oh, really? So I worked there for about about eight years, I think. Eighty? I think I bit worked there for about eight years. Oh, uh huh. And then retired when I was sixty-five. Oh, so most of your life, though, you worked at the gas station. Well, the last job was a Ford dealership. Uh huh. But how about before that? Yeah, with well, the gas station. You, how long did you work at the Maybe gas station? Maybe ten years. Ten years? Yeah. Do you remember what gas station? Mobile. Mobile? Oh, that's cool. So it's still around today. Yeah. And what did you do for the gas station? I did mechanical work. Oh, you did? Light mechanical work. Oh, how did how did you learn all these skills? How did you learn all these different things? You pick it up as I work. <laughs> so, how how long did you work during your day? Work. Like how many hours did you work during your day? Probably eight hours. Eight hours a day, for for all these jobs. Yeah, sometimes longer. Which which job was the most difficult? Most difficult. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess be the Ford dealership. Oh, really? 
or ordering parts. Oh, why? Why was that one the most difficult? 